Hello, with warm regards, ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Amit Ranjan Borua, Neurologist. You can meet me at GNRC North Quality Campus. Every year on 29th of October, the World Stroke Day is being celebrated across the globe. This World Stroke Day provides an opportunity to spread the awareness regarding the severity of stroke among the community at large. First of all, the stroke, how it occurs. Stroke can be diagnosed even by layman if he or she knows three symptoms like if there is a facial sagging to one of its side, second, if there is arm or leg weakness on one side, or if there is a speaking difficulty in a person. If these three symptoms occur in a person, then we can say or we can confirm that the patient has suffered from a stroke. And also, stroke is treatable, it is preventable. If these symptoms occur in a person and present before you within four and a half hours, that we call it a golden hour, or more practically, the window period of stroke, then there are some medicines that we can give, like the thrombolytic therapy, in a well equipped thrombolytic therapy unit or in a stroke unit. Secondly, stroke can happen to any one of us. Generally speaking, stroke can be of two types. First, the ischemic, second, the hemorrhagic stroke. The ischemic stroke occurs because of the blockage of the blood vessels supplying the brain. The second one, the more commonly known as the hemorrhagic stroke. The hemorrhagic stroke can happen due to a rupture or blood or burst of a blood vessel inside the brain. Both are of the devastating conditions and treatment modality are different in both the conditions. If somebody asks me about the prevalence of stroke, then I would say that out of one lakh population, one, 150 to 200 persons can suffer from stroke in a year. So, as you can imagine from this data that how devastating the stroke is, how common it is in our community. Yes, of course, there are some risk factors for stroke and these risk factors can be preventable. For example, if the person suffers from high blood pressure, if the person suffers from diabetes mellitus, if the person has ununiform or hyper lifestyle, then these are some contributing risk factors for stroke and these risk factors can be preventable. So on this occasion of World Stroke Day, I would like to inform you all that all the campuses of GNRC hospitals are well equipped with comprehensive stroke management team and a unit where a person having a stroke can avail the appropriate treatment. Thank you.